Welcome to our mini tutorial on how to download and install Sage BusinessWorks Service Packs. This tutorial will, ex will explain how to perform the download of the Sage BusinessWorks Service Pack as well as the installation of those service packs. Some tips before installing Sage BusinessWorks Service Packs. You're going to access the download at support.na.sage.com a login is required to download a product. If you have recently reset your password or the account has just been created, please wait about an hour before trying to download the product. The service pack download and install can be performed on any computer that has Sage BusinessWorks installed on it. Ensure that the service pack you are installing matches the version you have installed. For example, version 2017 needs to be installed prior to installing 2017 Service Pack 1. To check your version, access Help and About. So let's go ahead and take a look at a live demonstration on how to download and install Sage BusinessWorks Service Packs. Let's go ahead and check and see what version we have installed. If you go up to Help, and about, it's going to show you in the top line what the version number is. So we are on version 2015 of Sage BusinessWorks, so we're going to want to make sure we get the service pack that was designed for the version that we're on. To get the service pack, we're going to go up to Help, Support and Service on the Web, and Online Support. Once here, we're going to click the Log On button and then the log on for downloads and personalized content option. When the login comes up, we're going to enter our login and password, and then we're going to click log on. Once you're logged in, you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner, you have a My Downloads option. We're going to select that option, and then select Sage BusinessWorks, and you'll notice that it will show, take you to the downloads and updates for that version. Since we're on version 2015, we want to make sure that we get the Sage BusinessWorks 2015 Service Pack 9 download. And now it's going to bring you to our download options. There are two options, the Download Now option and the Direct Download. If you ever get any error messages or have any issues with the Direct Download using the download go ahead and use the direct download as a, it's a little bit more streamlined process. After we click download now, we're going to go ahead and click the download button since our download didn't start automatically. And now the download manager should appear. It's going to ask you where you want your download to go and this is the download for the download manager. So we're going to place it into the downloads folder. It will download the uh, download manager and then it will ask you for user account manager control if you want to run the program. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And then if you do receive this message that the program is running, you need to make sure that everybody is completely logged out of BusinessWorks and then do the download again. Okay, we're going to hit next to begin the product update. You're going to accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. You're going to verify that it's showing the correct program path and data path for your Sage BusinessWorks product. Go ahead and hit Next. And then it's going to go through and, and install the service pack update files. As you see, it doesn't take very long to perform a service pack install. Once we're complete, we're going to go ahead and launch BusinessWorks again log in and access help and about and ensure that it's showing Sage BusinessWorks 2015 Service Pack 9. Now just one other thing I'd like to show you here today is if you are using the direct download option when you click direct download you will get a prompt asking if you want to run the file or save it. We always recommend choosing to save the file and then you can open the folder and it will take you to the folder where that file just got downloaded to. Then you would run it the same way as you would run it in the past. We're going to close out of the program and we're going to double click the patch. 
We're going to say yes to the user account control. And then we're right back into the install product update screen that we were with the direct down, uh, the download manager. So the direct download is just a little bit faster, doesn't require the download of additional software in order to track your, your download process. Some common issues that you might run into when installing service packs. You may receive an error message that the Sage BusinessWorks program is currently running. You do need to make sure that everybody is logged out of BusinessWorks completely. And if that message does pop up, um, it's going to be recommended to run the disconnecting user task in order to release any stranded users. You can find that in our knowledge base as well as you might receive an incorrect version of Sage BusinessWorks. That would indicate that you're running the incorrect service pack for the version that you're on. Both of these can be found in our knowledge base by going on the web to support.na.sage.com. Once you're on that page, just enter the KB ID number in the field and it will come to the article with the resolution that will assist you with completing the service pack install. Just want to thank you for viewing our presentation today on how to download and install service packs. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.